a record breaker who is mm -hmm. sitting right next to us in studio that we're very excited about. The youngest American woman to summit Mount Everest, and Woo. she's a teenager. Incredible. Amazing, and she did it in just 26 days. That's twice as fast as the average Everest climber. So with us now to talk about that incredible <laughs> experience is 18-year-old Lucy wow. Westlake. Lucy, thank you so much for being with us, and obviously congratulations. I'm in awe. This is definitely on my bucket list, but I, I'm oh. not going to lie. There's a little fear okay. involved uh, with what it takes yeah. to make it to the top successfully. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you did to train uh, just to, to get up there as quickly as you did. Yeah, actually, very ironically, I am a runner. <laughs> so I was very excited to hear what you had to say about the benefits of running. Um, so yeah, I, I ran in high school, and my high school is very competitive. So I literally, there's no mountains in Chicago, unfortunately. That would be great to actually be able to climb mountains. But um, instead, I used running, and I also do some weightlifting. So that, that's how I, how I got up there. And it's served me well so far in mountaineering, even though it's not directly correlated. OK, you said mountaineering. Uh, you gave me your, 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 your the stat here. <laughs> you have summited the highest peak in every state in this country. Yeah. And you started at what age? What got you started in the first place? I started at seven, mm -hmm. and we kind of stumbled upon our first high point. And um, my family is super, which is very adventurous. We love exploring. We love mm -hmm. the outdoors. So after that first mountain, we were like, "Oh my gosh! Like, is this a thing? State high pointing?" And it is. Like, there's a high pointers club. Like, it's a, it's a bit, it's an amazing thing to do. I would definitely recommend. Um, so, it, I mean, the mountains just kept getting bigger and bigger. We didn't really set out to do all 50. We just started doing a yeah. few of them, and then. I mean, they've grown to the tallest in the world. So. It, it, it's so fun to have those lists and to set those goals and to do it with people mm -hmm. you love. I mean, I'm yeah. a huge, huge, huge fan of it. I've gotten into it a lot later in life than you have, but I've tried to bring my daughters along as well. Amazing. I want to know what Everest was like. I mean, you hear all the stories. Can you give me a sense of what it was like on that climb up for you? And did you hit some points or a point at all where you thought, I can't do this? Yeah, yeah, I did. I. So trekking up to base camp isn't isn't super hard, and it's like it's an amazing experience, absolutely beautiful. Like the Himalayas, I've never seen mountains more beautiful. And than that's seventeen thousand ish feet yeah. right there at base camp. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's high. That's really high. So base camp is already like an accomplishment. But then after base camp, you start getting into like the real mountaineering. Like you get out the harness, you get out the the like clipping the ice axe, the crampons. You got everything after that. So uh, the big backpack comes on, mm -hmm. and then you there's four camps up to the summit so you start you do like a ro acclimatization rotation and then we did our summit push so that was really fast like you said like we did it we did it in a good amount of time so that was amazing but um, but I did there were some points there was one point where I thought we had to turn around actually it was camp three and it was just too much wind we were on our summit push and our sh my Sherpa like we literally got ready to go to the next camp and he was like no we got to go down and I was so scared that we were gonna have to like turn around and not be able to come back up. But thank goodness we were able to we were able to go back up. Like the the weather cleared out and we were able to summit on the twelfth. You know, it, and Robes has talked about this. She's climbed and usually somebody in their group hits a point yeah. where uh uh I don't want to go anymore. I'm done. I, they oh, yeah. might break down crying, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. You talked about the wind. The elements might have yeah. made you turn around. But did you have a moment where you said uh uh I cannot do this? I, I didn't, you luckily. Didn't. I didn't. And, <laughs> but I, there were moments of like a little doubt, like the, right before the summit, we were at camp four, and I like looked up and it, it seemed like the whole mountain was in front of me. Like it seemed like the past like 24 days just didn't happen. It's like it the like summit just there. gets further and further yes. away. And you're like, oh, what? Does. I know, I know exactly. that feeling. I know that feeling well. Uh -huh. What was it like when you got to the top? To the top oh my gosh it was so surreal like I like could not believe I was at the top I just like repeating to myself like literally out loud I was like I did it I did it I did it and I was just so proud of myself and I knew my family would be so proud I was thinking about them a lot Aww. so it was amazing well somebody else is proud of you six time Mount Everest uh, summiter Melissa are not she's very proud of you as well she's so proud and she wanted you to know it so take a look at this really <laughs> Hi Lucy, Melissa Arnott here. I just want to say congratulations on becoming the youngest American woman to summit Everest. It takes incredible drive and perseverance to accomplish such a thing, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do with that in the future. I hope that this is just the beginning. Congratulations.
Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that. I didn't know it was going to happen. Oh my gosh, she's like one of my heroes. We usually well. have to say to the guests, what is your reaction to that? But we already saw it. Yeah. We, we saw it on your face. Lucy, there. what is next? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, so my next goal is to do, become the youngest person to do the Explorer's Grand Slam. So Everest is part of that. Ex the Explorer's Grand Slam is climbing to the tallest mountain in every continent, then also going to the North and South Poles. So I've done five now, five of the seven. So my next, I'm trying to fundraise. That's kind of the, the, big, um, the big hurdle yeah. right now. So I, like, I started to go fund me um, for Everest, and I'll continue that. What are the two mountains left you have? I have um, Mount Vincent, which yep. is in Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> um, and then that's like one trip. You also go to the South Pole. And then Karsten's Pyramid is Oceana. And then the North Pole. So those are like three expeditions. I think left. you're going to do it. I, I, I have no you. doubt. I mean, just so honored to meet you. And what an inspiration inspiration you are, Lucy. Thank, Thank you, so, you so much for being with us. Of course. Thank <laughs> you for having me. It's All right. Amazing. And good luck at graduation this weekend, by the way. She hasn't <laughs> even graduated you. from high school yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. And you're going to run track at US USC, yeah. right? Yes. Is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So much, so much ahead of you. All right. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.